Hey guys, it's me Miranda and I'm back today to show you everything that I have colored slash worked on for July. I can't believe July is over now. <laughs> it is officially the first day of August and it kind of snuck up on me. I was like, oh man, and now I have to film what I colored in July. So, um, as you can see, I kind of worked in a lot of books this month. Um jumped around really got into coloring some different books this month so have a lot to show you guys and as you can see back here i do have a diamond painting that i finished that i want to show you guys and if you follow me on instagram you'll already have seen the pictures that i've posted but i'm so excited i can't wait to show you guys so let me just move all of this to the side I don't have much table room off to this side, so I'm trying. You might just see a little corner of the diamond painting, but we'll just stack our books over here on top of it, too. Just ignore that part. Maybe I can move my camera a little bit this way. There you go. Can't see it as much. So, um, let me jump right into it because I do have a lot of books this month. The first one that I wanted to show you guys is The Coloring Cafe Life is Delicious, a coloring book for grown-up girls by Ronnie Walter. So I did do a flip through of this on my channel before because I absolutely love these books <laughs> and I um, have a couple pages in here. This one I did before, I think I've showed it to you guys, but for July... I did this page. I believe when I was doing the flip through, I made mention that I even wanted to make this a red, white, and blue page. So that's what I did. Fourth of July, I colored that. And I did add a whole bunch of At You Speak uh, gel pens, the glitter pens. I'm sorry. Um, I think you can see they're kind of just everywhere in this picture. And I did um, Crayola marker for the base and then um the Arteza markers for some of the other bases of markers and then I did go through with some Prismacolor pencil and do some shading and then I did color the berries with the Prismacolor so you can kind of see there so I thought that page turned out super cute and then I'll show you the next page that I completed because I do have a whip in this book. So this is the next page that I did in here. This is the page of just aprons. And I did um, Prismacolored pencils on this. And I thought it turned out very cute. There's no glitter on this page. Which I actually didn't even realize till now. <laughs> I didn't add glitter. But that page was fun. And then I did start working on a third page in here last month, which was this page with just some spices on it. And I just did um, some of the leaves with Prismacolor colored pencil. So there's that. Oh, I did do this little flower pink. Those are the pages. I think that's all the ones that I worked on this month. Yeah. I really like working on this book, um, and I made mention of this before too, but I love the smaller, like, weird shaped books, so like the square books, I really just like, I find them so much easier because 99% of the time I'm coloring on my couch while I'm watching, or um, sometimes I'll set up my coloring station at my kitchen table and then I'll get up and go do stuff and come back, so... Uh, it's just nice to have smaller books that I can kind of just maneuver around a little bit. Um, they're not in the way too much. And I really like this spiral bound on this book too. So that was that book. And the next book that I worked in, I don't think I've ever shown this book on my channel before. But this is the $300 Uh This is 
this is an expanded collection by Sally Berry. And um, this is a huge book. Like, <laughs> massive. Obviously, there's 300 mandalas, and they're not double-sided. They're one-sided. They do give you a little uh, snippet of, like, what do you call it? Little indexes of some of them. And then there is this ISBN number, which I will show you. There are a whole bunch of uh, flip-throughs or, like, just kind of show a little bit about the book on YouTube. Um, I think Kate's Coloring Haven definitely has one, I know for sure. Um, and I think she did a really wonderful job of showing you the book and kind of what to expect out of it. But anyway, I did buy this book a while ago and I do, did color in it some. I just get to showing you. But I started coloring in it again this month. Um, I don't... I don't know. I haven't been coloring mandalas as much um, since I started YouTube, but normally after work, I love to color mandalas. I think they are so relaxing. I love putting down colors and just kind of playing with the color aspect of it and then layering different things, so like markers, uh, you know, pencils, gel pens, just using anything and everything I want on the page. So, uh, I find that a lot of times doing mandalas kind of gives me confidence to do a more detailed or figured coloring page. Um, but I haven't been doing them so much lately because I've been doing a lot of color by numbers. So, some of these were done before. I did do this intro page with the name with my name um and I did post that on my Instagram and that was just Arteza markers and then um I think these were all jelly roll glitter gel pens and then they had the metallic gel pens and then Crayola colored pencils so I did do that one from before but, uh, and then these one, this one was done from before. So what I like to do, what I have been doing in this book is just kind of laying down my marker base and then just moving on to the next one. And I've just been having a lot of fun doing that. So I haven't went back through with any colored pencil or gel pen or anything, but I probably will because I, they don't feel finished to me until they have some glitter or some shading on them. But these are some of the ones that I've done from before. Um, and then this is the one that I actually did in July. And I think these looked like little owls to me, so I made them into little owls. But again, I think I'm going to, um, just kind of keep going through with some markers and then maybe go back through with some colored pencil or glitter gel pen later. I'm just having a lot of fun coloring these with marker right now. And then the next one I have should be no surprise to anyone that has watched any of my videos because I'm constantly coloring in this book is Hot Tropics, a Tiki Pinup Coloring Book by Carla Magana. So, oh, sorry, shifted in my chair. <laughs> Trying to get comfortable. Um, this book, I've worked in a lot this year, but... Um, last month I showed you what I colored and I had a whip, so I did finish my whip this month. And I decided just to leave her orange and kind of looking autumnal. I thought it kind of just, it is what it is. <laughs> um, so I did go through and add a little bit of shading with some Crayola color pencil. And then I went through with some, um, glitter gel pens I use at you speak as and uh, jelly rolls for the white. So that is that page finally finished. You can see I had a lot of glitter on her makeup and her jewelry and then down her boots and her gloves. And then, yeah, I was talking about maybe doing a background on this page, but I decided just to leave it this way because I did like how it looked. 
sorry I did like how it looked and I can always go back in and add a background later if I choose to but I really like how this one came out and I'm probably for August I'm gonna color more in this book because obviously this is my favorite <laughs> The next book I have to show you guys that I colored in is this Yippee Kawaii Yay, uh, Volume 2 by Danny Banani of Unusual Suspects. So I have shown you guys and colored in Volume 1. I think I've done like four pages out of that one. But this month I did this book because it had the Jaws Because page which I thought was adorable. Sorry, I'm moving my camera here. <laughs> I thought this was adorable uh, because if you didn't know, July, is, they have Shark Week on, so I wanted to color some sharks. So that is how much I've done so far. This is what happens if I am really into a show or a movie while I'm coloring. I don't get much done because I just stop coloring and then I end up just holding my book and pencil while I'm watching a show. So, um, but that's okay. I had fun coloring what I did get colored and now I just want to go through with some of the, I'm using castle art pencils. So, um, I'm going to finish doing some of the water in the castle arts and then I do have these little fishes around the edging to finish and then I think I want to go through on this page and maybe do some watercolor like drops along the edges so that's my plan I definitely want to finish this one I love these the paper in these books too okay and then the next book that I have to show you guys is this Harry Potter chibi coloring book. I don't think there's a publisher for this one. At least that I can find. There is an ISBN number. I got mine off of Amazon. And I know that they have this like brown, yellow, monochromatic cover. And then they have a blue one. I'm not sure if they are the same inside. I have seen people that have double, but I haven't heard anybody say if they're the same or if they're actually different inside. So if you have both, uh, let me know <laughs> because if they're different, I will definitely purchase the other one. But so far, this is the book that I have and I just did the cover page. I have had this book for a while, so it's not a new book to me, but I just haven't colored in it yet because I want to make it look really cute and pretty and the pages are really detailed so I colored this I used um parku markers and I also used Crayola markers and then I went through and did some shading with um Prisma colored pencil and I also used some Crayola colored pencil and then I used at you speak a glitter gel pens for the glitter so this is what it turned out looking like I will bring it up here I kind of made um, the owl Hedwig and then I did put a Hufflepuff scarf on her because I'm a Hufflepuff and then I added glitter gel pen around the moon and then also there are some um, metallic gold colored pencil details on the book so that is the only page I've worked in out of this book so far but I do like it I just think it's gonna take me a little time when I decide to do those really intricate pages but I'm really excited to put on a, a Harry Potter movie or even Halloween movies and just color in that book and then the next three books that I have to show you are these uh, mystery mosaics or the pixel books, whatever you want to call them, the color by numbers. Um, I've showed two of these on my channel before, so you guys have seen the color by number mosaics, a pixel art coloring book, the Halloween edition. And then I have the mystery mosaics book 15 by Mindware. And then this past month, I did purchase Party Patterns. And I 
don't know that oh this one is by the Bella family there is no ISBN number but I did purchase it off Amazon I'm not too sure where else you can find this one wherever Bella family decides to sell their books but um this is just kind of all of the holidays and I am going to show like a general flip through of this in my haul so if you do want to see like more general information about it you can see that there but in this video I did color two pages out of this so I'll just be showing you those two pages and then if you want to see a little bit more kind of about the book like I normally talk about in my hauls you can see that in July's haul. So I'm going to start off with this book, the Mystery Mosaics book 15 by Mindware. Um, I have talked about this before when I showed the book, but it gives you a key for all your colors that are the same throughout. And I've just went in and kind of did some swatching to see what colors were closest. And also I've been using Crayola markers for this book. So um, I just put the names of the actual Crayola markers. I have those finer tipped ones, but I have been using super tips for some of the colors that I don't have in the finer tipped ones. I'm not too sure if, if they're called fine tips. I struggle every time I talk about those Crayola markers, but I think you guys know what I'm talking about by now. But, um, for this one, I have torn out the pages that I've worked so far. So if you guys don't want to see any spoilers, obviously the next couple books I'm showing are going to be kind of spoilers. But uh, the only thing that I'm going to show after this is my diamond painting, just in case you don't want to finish the, the video. Just letting you know. Um, I'll show you them in order here. So, um, like I said, I've just been doing Crayola markers for these. This is the first page. I really like coloring these. They're super relaxing. The boxes are bigger, so they're not hard to see. If you do use Crayola Super Tips, they fill in the boxes a little bit faster than the finer ones. But, um, I really like using the fine finer tipped Crayola markers on this page just because there are a lot of half boxes and I find that I can get a cleaner edge on those and I just don't mind spending a little bit more time filling in the boxes because I just find color by numbers really relaxing. So um, also there is a little bit of bleed through if you were to keep this in your book obviously with Crayola markers. Um, I've just been tearing mine out so that I can color them on my uh, clipboard while I sit and watch movies or I can just like move my clipboard around the house with me so that I can go cook dinner and then go sit on the couch from the table or go back and forth or go to a recliner just kind of take it with me a little bit easier not that this book is huge but that's just what I've decided to do. And I really do like the color choices in this book. I think they're beautiful. That's the second page. And then mosaic number three I did. So mosaic number three. And then I did skip doing mosaic number four. It's still in the book because mosaic number five is one of the fold out pages. And I really wanted to do a fold out page. So this is what the fold out page looks like. As you guys can see, there is quite a bit of background on this page. Normal, Normally, the single pages don't have as much background, but that's okay. Um, I didn't mind. I found I did. I worked my way from the bottom up um, color-wise in this one. So I did all the greens and browns first. So I was really confused as to what this picture was going to be until I started doing um the light green and then it kind of filled in the rest of the outline for the figure here so <laughs> that is my whip for this book i'm definitely going to finish this i love doing these after work they're very relaxing and then 
fold it back up. <laughs> um, I definitely would be purchasing more of the Mystery Mosaics color by number because I really love doing <laughs> Toy Muse pictures and they're very cute. They do have a key in the back if you're a person that likes to see what you're coloring before so you can kind of pick. I don't, um, but if you're one of those people, they do have a key in the back so you can see all of the different images for that book. Um, the next book that I colored in was Color by Number Mosaics, a Pixar, Pixel Adult Coloring Book. This is a Halloween. So I got this book last month and I wanted to color in it right away. One, because I'm in the Halloween kind of spirit mood, but also because um, when I got this book, I kind of made mention to you guys that I didn't know how I felt about the boxes, how small they were. So this is what the inside just looks like. And as you can see, these boxes are tiny. Um, so I definitely wanted to try coloring in this they I used a fine liner I'll just show you what I did in here um this book is by Rocket Publishing by the way and like I said I have shown this book before on my channel so this is the page that I did this was the first page it is also the image from the cover I kind of wish that they would have made, even if they kept the boxes the same size, that they would have made the image this big. Because your focal point, your character image is pretty small. And then you have so much just color blocking for this page. Um, and I, you can kind of see, you can definitely see where your character is on the page when you're coloring these. Like this one before you even start. So I kind of colored my character in and then I just had all of this area just to color block in. So I really wish that these images were just cropped. Even if they were just cropped from here to here so that you wouldn't have like all of this extra like what 10, 12, 14 rows of extra just squares to be coloring. Um, it's just a huge border around your image that I kind of feel is unnecessary, but maybe that's just me. I don't know if you guys might like that and enjoy kind of like the color by number experience more of it. Um, I just used the cross stitch method on this. So I did little X's. I also kind of wait, I think for my next picture, like when I do this one, I don't think I'm going to listen to this big color blocking area. Um, I think what I'm going to do is break it up with colors. So even if they had just added a few little boxes of different colors, that would have made it a little bit more interesting. Maybe like make it look like stars in the sky or like different colored pieces for the ground. Um, I don't know if you can see here too. They did like this magenta color and then this really nice purple but there was only like a little bit of this purple I kind of wish that they would have extended it down more around the ground image so anyway I did like this book it is a little straining for the eyes after you work all day um, I work on a computer all day so for eight hours a day I'm on the computer staring at a screen it's very straining for your eyes so after I get off work kind of the last thing I want to do is come hunt for these small boxes <laughs> um, but I give my eyes a little break and then I did color them after work when I did this page so it's not too bad if you do have a vision impairment or really bad vision it might be hard on your eyes again I'll just show you this page but um I know I did a lot of griping there but I'm not gonna throw this book away or anything I am gonna continue coloring in it it is a cute book I don't mind using fine liners in it I think it'll be cute when it's all done but I, there's just some things I wish were different and I just wanted to let you guys know in case you were thinking about purchasing the, this book you would kind of know what to expect from it 
so I did only do one page out of here and then again the the book that I just got this month and also colored in this month is this one again I'm not going to show you a whole bunch of information about this book that'll be for my haul but I am just going to show you what I colored this month so this is the first page that I did. Again, they do have a solid kind of background, but they do have these little areas where they speckled different colors in and um, made it a little bit more interesting for you to actually color. <laughs> um, again, these boxes are pretty tiny. And like I said, after I work on the computer for eight hours a day, it is a little straining to keep, you know, keep straining my eyes for the rest of the night so um for these ones I just use a fine liner and I try not to do too much per day but these ones are also nice because the images are so small so even if you only work on it for maybe half an hour a night you're still gonna get to complete the, these pages a little bit faster than the other one and then I do have another page in here that I started which is this one and I just have a few areas that I need to finish coloring in, but it's super cute. I really like this book. Um, just again, if you have a really bad vision impairment or if you're like me and you work on a computer for eight hours a day, these might be a little straining to your eyes. You might want to only work on them a little bit a night or just save them till the weekend. That is what I have worked out of here. And... Finally, ta-da! So this is the diamond painting that I did. He's a little ghost with a pumpkin. There's a moon in the background and I think they're sitting on a pile of leaves. And I absolutely loved doing this diamond painting. Usually when I do diamond paintings, they take up my table because that's the biggest space that I have to work on these things. Um, they take up my table and they end up sitting there forever and then I get tired of them and I just get annoyed that they're taking up my table and I can't clear it off as easily to eat dinner or work on other things at my table. So this one actually, I was really surprised at how fast it went, how much I wanted to work on it. Um, the diamonds on this that came with it and like all of them are so sparkly I absolutely love it um I really wanted to work on this page or this picture and have it done before Halloween so that I could hang it up this year so I'm super excited that I have it done I want to get a frame and maybe hang it up for during the Halloween fall season but that's the little ghosty and the pumpkin that I did. Super sparkly. I did purchase this off of Amazon. And I have per I have I have photos on my Instagram of this guy and I did mention the name of it on there, which I'm spacing out on right now. But I just found him on Amazon and there's a whole bunch of leftover um drills for this little diamonds so I don't know what I'm gonna do with them because they're so sparkly I feel like they need to be used <laughs> but anyway that is everything that I've colored for July um I'm also going to be filming my haul for July next so stay tuned for that and I will see you guys in a little bit bye